All right. Good afternoon, Tiara. How are you today? I'm doing great. How are you? I am doing good. So real quick before we jump into it, Tiara and I go way back. I placed her at a company in 2021 where she ended up going perm, proven performer, did a phenomenal job at one of our area's largest theme parks, headquarters, corporate office. You were working in HR. Tell us what a typical day looked like in that role, Tiara. So my typical day in my um, HR ops role consisted of me um, first being the first point of contact early in the mornings, phones ringing, um, a ton of questions all the way from the UK to Dallas to New York. Um, I was considered the problem solver. Um, also the right hand to my HR operations head of and HR manager. Um, they relied on me to come in, get to doing projects, um, dealing with new hires, making sure that I'm welcoming um, everybody with a warm welcome to the business. Um, I manage several inboxes um, from HRBPs writing me, asking me to help with different things to the employees. Um, we did a lot of employee servicing um, where they called in with questions, um, issues, um, complaints. I was the go-to person for a lot of that. Um, I did a lot of, well, reviewed a lot of corrective actions. I may come in with my inbox being full of corrective actions. Um, HRBPs asking me to advise on how they should handle it as well. Wow. Um, you know, employees that were terminated, you know, I had to deal with them um, just explaining the next process and termination, helping them file for unemployment um, or advising on how to go about filing for unemployment. Um, a lot of onboarding, new hire onboarding. I onboarded okay. over 350 clients, not clients, 350 employees um, a month. I was responsible, excuse me, I was responsible for getting those metrics out to our stakeholders um, every quarter. Um, it consisted of a lot, but it was a lot that I thoroughly enjoyed, you know, dealing with. So I love it. And I love what this company and, you know, folks that aren't familiar with this organization, you you get to wear a lot of different hats in this HR department. The HR department's big, right? But there's yes. Yes. thousands of employees within yes. this company that are global. Mm -hmm. um, like you mentioned, always in HR, something sometimes hits the fan. Tell me about a time something hit the fan. I'm trying to pardon my French, watch my French here. And <laughs> hit the fan. Right, right. What, what happened and how did you overcome it? Okay, so there was a time where there was a change in leadership. And this is one of the, you know, like when, when something just comes out of the blue, you're like, oh my God, what are you going to do? So I don't panic. Um, my first thought is, okay, how are we going to do this? Who do I have to team up with to make sure that it's done? Because it doesn't matter if someone shows up, if they don't, you still have to make sure that the business is still operating. So we had heard some news, um, very sad news that we were transitioning um, to another area of the building. Um, leadership was resigning. A lot of people were leaving. Our department had to cut um, hybrid roles. A lot of us loved the hybrid role. It gave us the flexibility to be home, pick up our kids, do things that we need to do. So someone ended up leaving immediately. She left to go to Pennsylvania. That was coming before they learned of the news. Um, someone else had found another job. So we found ourselves being a team of seven in HR operations to being a team of two. Wow. It was myself as the HR coordinator slash right hand to my operations manager and my operations manager. Him and I ran the entire operations for four months. Wow. And how that ended up happening is there were just so many different changes. We ended up bringing in new people. We interviewed new people. They were great. Um, the role did not play out the way that, you know, they thought, um, you know, people came and they left. They came and they left. So we had to find out, like, figure out a strategy, like, how are we going to retain these people with the current changes taking place? Mm -hmm. So for some time, um, we had a team, you know, the team was just still new. Everybody learning different things. A UKG program rolled out, um, a new ticketing system rolled out, all in the midst of getting new employees. So him and I would get these new employees. We would train them on the ticketing system, UKG, the regular operations of our team. And the minute we do that, something else will change. And they're like, oh, okay, 
we we can't do it. So what my manager and I did is we ran, it's called People Advisors. They're like the customer service line to the employees, okay. which is for 30 something um, sites across North America plus the UK. Wow. I was answering phones. He was answering phones. We were doing metrics. We were having our normal HRBP meetings just to tell, you know, how the business is going. So when we started, they were in the red. But by the time we got done, everything was in the green, even though those three to four months, we just had dismantle after dismantle. We were still nobody knew but our team. We were still able to keep the boat afloat. And we got awarded and recognized for the work that we did during those changes within the business. Well, you know what? That really impresses me because not only, again, it would have been easy for you to also go, this is a lot. This is a lot. This is a lot of change, you know, and also jump ship. But you identified not only an issue, but a solution. That's and right. you kept, That's right. and you kept it afloat and you came through on top, which a lot of other folks would have started using that as their excuse to not right. keep the wheels on the bus. And you did. Right. Well, you know, whoever is watching this, I feel like already they're probably going, oh, my gosh, this girl could come in here and, and really help our team because this is what right. you want in a team member. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. after you worked for such a large org- organization, you kind of switched gears and you decided to um take your experience from corporate America and bring it into a, in essence, a startup. Um, And you did that successfully for about a year as well. So tell us a little bit about that position. So one of my strengths (laughs) is taking things that are just totally falling apart and going in, identifying the issues, um, why we're not able to move forward. And I say, Hey, this is an issue. This is how we're going to resolve it. And this is what or who we need to resolve it. Um, that's kind of what I did at Merlin. And then I went over into Right Ray Freight and I started doing the same thing. Um, it was a trucking business that um, someone I saw add. I went ahead and applied for that. It was a trucking business. Um, they were needing help with like just getting someone to do the operations part. They weren't that familiar, but they had gotten into that industry. Um, I wasn't familiar either, but I did my research and I learned, you know, how that type of business is to be operated. And I took all of my strengths. Um, I helped them with the startup. They got everything going, got everything rolling. Um, I helped them partner with some broker brokerages as well as brokers um, that will allow them to move freight on their behalf. Um, I taught them how to find the loads, um, how to utilize the load boards, all that good stuff, and also how to get direct shippers um, within their local areas to move freight on their behalf. So it was a contract role where I did what I was to come in and do, and then it ended there. I already knew from the beginning that there was not going to be anything after that, but they were grateful that I was able to come in and do exactly what it is they needed me to do. And as far as I know now, everything has been successful. Wonderful. Tara, what's the most important thing to you about the next company that you work for? I want to work somewhere where we put the employees, like we understand the importance of the employees. Um, The employees are who make or break um, the business. Um, That's why I'm kind of big in, you know, HR, anything operations where we're being a service of or to our employees so that they can be of service to our customers. I want a company that obviously um, it's more like a family versus, you know, a role. I want to be excited to wake up to work for such a great company. Um, I want to work around great people. Um, I feel like if we work around great people, we'll have a great partnership, which will allow us all to drive business results. Um, And I'm here to help. Fantastic. Tira, I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording. I'm so excited that we had a chance to come back together and film this for consideration for future clients. And I'm going to chat with you a little bit more if that sounds good to you. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you.